Welcome back to Westeros, the land where everyone's primary hobbies are betrayal, incest, and trying not to get eaten by dragons. Season 2 of House of the Dragon brings us deeper into the Targaryen family drama, and boy, is it a wild ride. If you thought your family gatherings were awkward, wait until you see what the Targaryens get up to. Buckle up, folks, because this is one fiery roller coaster of a season. Episode 1, Sibling Rivalry at its finest, we kick off with a bang, or rather, a dragon roar. The civil war between Renera and Aegon II, known as the Dance of the Dragons, is in full swing. Renera, our platinum blonde queen with a penchant for riding dragons and giving intense glares, is plotting her next move. Meanwhile, Aegon II, who's basically Westeros' version of a spoiled frat boy with a dragon, is sulking on the Iron Throne. Renera's team includes her husband slash uncle demon, yes, it's as weird as it sounds, who is always ready to slice someone's head off with a smirk. Their strategy sessions are a mix of serious war planning and awkward family therapy sessions. Picture demon saying, we should attack King's Landing at dawn, while Renera mutters, you never clean up your dragon's mess. Episode 2, Dragons are a girl's best friend, as the war escalates, both sides unleash their dragons. There's Vagar, the giant grumpy dragon who looks like he needs a nap, and Syrax, who seems to be having the time of her life setting things on fire. Dragons are the nuclear weapons of Westeros, but they also have the temperament of hungry toddlers. We get to see some epic dragon battles, which are as majestic as they are chaotic. It's like watching a deadly, high-stakes game of Quidditch, but with more fire and less sportsmanship. The CGI budget for this season must have been through the roof. Episode 3, Royal Rumor Mill, while dragons burn cities and armies clash, the small folk of Westeros are having a field day with the latest gossip. Imagine a medieval version of TMZ. They're spreading rumors faster than wildfire. Did you hear? Renera and Demon are actually, and they're dragons. It's like the Westerosi version of a soap opera, and everyone's tuned in. Meanwhile, Aegon II's court is a hot mess. His advisors can't agree on anything, and Aegon spends most of his time drinking and brooding. It's like watching a dysfunctional high school student council, but with more beheadings. Otto Hightower, Aegon's hand, is basically trying to keep everything from falling apart with the energy of a stressed-out single parent. Episode 4, The Red Keeps Got Talent, over in King's Landing, we're treated to a medieval talent show. The court needs a break from all the death and destruction, so they host a grand tournament. Knights joust, bards sing terribly catchy songs, and there's even a fire-breathing act that goes hilariously wrong, pro tip, never try to outdo a real dragon. Aegon too tries his hand at being charming, but ends up offending half the court. Renera sends a spy to perform a dramatic reading of her declaration of war, complete with interpretive dance. It's less a Game of Thrones, and more, Westeros got talent, but with a lot more blood. Episode 5, Battle of the Burnt Breakfast, back on Dragonstone, tensions are high. Demon and Renera have a domestic squabble over breakfast that ends with the table on fire, thanks, dragons. It's clear that running a war and a household are equally challenging for the Targaryens. They might be dragon riders, but they're definitely not master chefs. Their kids, who are somehow even more intense than their parents, are training to be future dragon riders slash warriors slash angsty teenagers. Watching them interact is like watching a reality show about overachieving siblings. Mom, Joffrey stole my sword. Dad, Aegon's dragon ate my homework. It's chaos, but it's also strangely heartwarming. Episode 6, Wedding Crashers, because no season of a Westeros show is complete without a wedding that ends in disaster, we get a grand Targaryen wedding. It's between Renera's son Jacarys and some unfortunate noblewoman. The event is beautiful, the food is plentiful, and the guests are plotting murder left and right. It's basically a typical Targaryen family reunion. Halfway through the ceremony, a dragon decides to crash the party, literally. There's screaming, fire, and a lot of running. The dragon wasn't invited, but hey, it's a Targaryen wedding, what did they expect? The highlight of the episode is watching everyone in their fancy clothes trying to dodge dragon flames. It's the best wedding entertainment anyone could ask for. Episode 7, Sibling Rivalry 2, Electric Boogaloo, the war takes a turn for the worse as Renera and Aegon II's forces clash in the biggest battle yet. The dragons are out in full force, and it's like watching a deadly, fiery air show. Sibling rivalry has never been this intense, or this destructive. 
buildings crumble, armies are decimated, and dragons roar in what can only be described as a medieval heavy metal concert. Episode 8, The Aftermath, After the Epic Battle, Everyone's Licking Their Wounds. King's Landing is in shambles, and the Red Keep looks like it's been redecorated by an angry dragon, which it kind of has. Aegon too is brooding on the Iron Throne, contemplating his next move. He's got the look of someone who just realized that winning a war is a lot harder than starting one. Episode 9, The Great Targaryen Bake Off, in a surprising twist, both sides agree to a temporary truce to celebrate the Feast of the Dragon. It's a festival filled with food, music, and tense negotiations. Imagine a medieval version of Thanksgiving, but with dragons instead of turkey. The highlight of the feast is the Great Targaryen Bake Off, where noble families compete to make the best dragon-themed dessert. Episode 10, The Final Showdown, The Season Finale, is a doozy. Renera and Aegon II finally face off in a dramatic showdown that has all the makings of an epic conclusion. There's betrayal, heartfelt confessions, and, of course, dragons. The two siblings argue over who has the rightful claim to the throne, with the intensity of two kids fighting over the last piece of cake. In the end, it's not just about who has the most powerful dragon or the biggest army. It's about who can outmaneuver, outsmart, and outdrama the other. The final battle is both epic and tragic, with losses on both sides. By the end of the episode, the Iron Throne is left in a precarious position, much like a game of musical chairs where the music has suddenly stopped.